Going to on his own now, what a great chance. Stars is there, he finds it! A distinctive character with a unique appearance and manner, Norbert Nobby Stiles was a hero for both club and country during his illustrious playing career. He came up through the ranks at United making his league debut in October 1960 as an 18-year-old. He immediately settled into the side, making an impressive 31 appearances in his first season. He had dabbled in boxing as a youngster and the strength of character and discipline he'd learnt in the ring certainly helped him on his footballing journey. He carved out a reputation as the best man marker in Britain and would always let his opponent know he was there. He combined his work as a tough tackling enforcer with his creative ability to pick out a pass for the likes of Best, Law and Charlton and became a key factor in the club's 1965 title winning campaign. Nobby also grabbed his chance on the international stage and became a midfield mainstay under Alf Ramsey as the 1966 World Cup finals approached. He was given the unenviable task of man-marking Portugal's Eusebio, the tournament's leading scorer in the semi-finals, but he excelled. His performances during the tournament and jubilant celebrations upon winning it sealed his place in English football folklore. Two years later, he returned to Wembley with United, as Matt Busby's men became the first English club to lift the European Cup. Again, Nobby was assigned the task of keeping Eusebio quiet, and again, Nobby was outstanding. He was one of Matt Busby's main men for over a decade, playing nearly 400 games for United until he moved on to Pastures New in 1971. Later in his career, he passed on his experience to the next generation, returning to Old Trafford in 1989 as youth team coach. He worked with many of the Fergie fledglings who'd be central to United's success throughout the 1990s, like Ryan Giggs, David Beckham and Gary Neville. Nobby later proudly received an MBE in recognition of his services to football and was inducted into the English Football Hall of Fame. Nobby's bosses always loved him and his no-nonsense approach. And he was a fan's favourite too. His unique off-field charm and unquestionable on-field success made him one of his country's favourite sons, an iconic player and a true gentleman who gave so much to the game he loved.